honestly, I don't have any words anymore. I just, I don't have any words to talk about number 97 anymore. It was his 26th birthday last night against the San Jose Sharks. And you know what their present was to him? They left them all alone, high slot to rip one past the goaltender. Happy birthday, Connor. But seriously, this is just getting ridiculous. It's getting stupid at this point. The numbers that McDavid is putting up. And I mean, I know that Austin Matthews scoring 60 goals last year was nothing to scoff at. And it was a great achievement first since Stamkos in, I think, 2012 to do it. But it seems like Connor might be able to blow past those numbers this year. I mean, another goal last night puts him at 36 goals, 79 points on the season, and he just passed the 43 game mark. Um, I'm not very good at math, but 82 divided by 2, 41, he just passed the halfway mark of the season, and he's already got 80 points. He's on pace for 67 goals and 151 points. Do you know how many points I have in 20 beer league games this year? Five. And I'm recording this after the end of the first period, so it's very possible that Connor comes out and scores again and puts up even more points and makes these numbers even nuttier. But I just, I don't understand this guy this year. He's always been incredible, and he's the best player I've ever seen with my own two eyes. But I just, it's even better than I could have even fathomed at this point. Like, is he going to put up Gretzky-type numbers? Like, what's going to happen here? I don't understand at all. Like... Do you see him going cold, going on a cold streak? Because I certainly don't. I mean, it's Connor McDavid. Does he ever go on a cold streak? I feel like the only time McDavid goes on a cold streak is when he forgets to turn on his heated driveway. Just absolutely nutty numbers from number 97. And a happy 26th birthday to him, but... I mean, is this guy an alien or what? I If you have a chance to watch this, this does not come around a bunch, okay? Like, take it from somebody who went through the dead puck era and who went through the era in the early mid-2010s where the Art Ross Trophy winners were getting, like, 87 points and stuff. Take it from that to a guy that, hey, when you get a chance to see something like this, take advantage, watch every Oilers game you can, because this is truly, truly amazing.